Hey, Honors American History 1 students, welcome back for yet another week of digital online learning. It's May already, so this is our first full week of May. And so for this week, we're going to continue to review the causes of the Civil War. And really, this is just a review week. There's only one new uh, issue that I'd like to introduce, and that's the Dred Scott decision. And there are only two, yes, two assignments that you're going to do this week. So let's take a look at what we're going to do. So uh, again, this week's work is every work, every week's work is self-paced. So the due dates, I, I actually have uh, talked to some other students and some colleagues, and a lot of people are giving the weekend to do the work. You don't have to do the work over the weekend, but if you wanted to do the work over the weekend, now you have two extra days to do that. So please note that the two assignments are due Sunday, May the 10th at 1159 p.m. And you do have uh, still the checklist here. You can click on that. You'll need to make yourself a copy. But I also want to remind you that May the 10th um, is Mother's Day, and some students may want to um, have uh, family get-togethers or whatever if you're going to be spending time with family. So just be aware of that. Don't wait till the last minute. So in our checklist, here's our checklist with the two assignments that we have. So going back to our home page, um, I'd like to remind you that you're, you need to, first of all, watch this video which is going to be right here um, on your screen when you pull it up. And of course, you may want to review the quarter four expectations about just being flexible, logging into Canvas, being aware of due dates, that kind of thing. And also quality work. So quality work is on time. It's complete so that you are aware of, again, just reminding yourself what's going on with our online learning. You can join our Remind. It's right here again. And then if you keep scrolling down, you'll actually see uh, where we begin our stuff with uh, our discussion posts for this week. Discussion posts are not required, but if you have any kind of general questions that everybody might benefit uh, from, you'll be able to post those and see the answers there throughout the week all the way through Sunday. So let's talk about our first actual assignment. So it's on uh, the court case Dred Scott versus Sanford. It's pretty significant. There are five questions you're going to answer in a text box. Again, the due date is Sunday, May 10th at 11.59 p.m. You guys have been doing great about academic integrity. I'm very proud about that. But I just want to remind you it's an individual assignment, so please do not give or receive answers. If you have questions about it, just send me an email. I'm just sitting around from 8 to 2 waiting for my computer to ding so that I can answer an email. This should take you about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, and so here's the Dred Scott versus Sanford PDF file that you can pull up and you can read through there. Um, the Supreme Court case goes to the background and the decision and the dissenting opinion of the court, which means the disagreeing opinion. And then there are five questions here, but they are also here. Some of you like, I think, to copy and paste them into a text box. So this way you can copy and paste them right here um, into a text box entry and click submit. And again, that should take you about 30 to 45 minutes. Our second assignment here, which is task five, is a play posit video. Um, actually, it's video segments and questions that are embedded. And so by Monday or Tuesday, let me know by Monday or Tuesday if you're having trouble getting the play posit to play. I'm hoping that as we continue, things will get a little better in terms of speed and ability to play the play posit video. But um, I can do an alternative assignment for that if I need to, like I have been in the past. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the play posit um, uh, course, uh, I mean assignment page. I'll get it right in a minute. And you click on the uh, link. If you haven't joined yet, there's our class code. Now, the difference here is it's not an entire video. It's a series of video segments. So there's one video segment at the beginning that's kind of long. It takes about 20 minutes to go through, and it starts all the way back really with the American system in the early 1800s, even late 1700s, and it looks economically at the changes of our country as we face uh, an approaching civil war by 1861. And so it even goes back to the Missouri Compromise. I challenge you to count how many times the Missouri Compromise is mentioned in all of the video segments. I don't even know, but it's a lot because it's pretty significant. It is a turning point. And so the other video segments include things like um, Uncle Tom's Cabin, uh, John Brown, Harper's Ferry, um, the uh, Compromise of 1850, um, the Kansas-Nebraska Act, the Caning of Charles Sumner. So there are several video segments throughout the um, whole length of it's about 50 minutes. And so um, it'll take you maybe an hour, a little over an hour to actually go through and answer the embedded questions. If you have any questions at any time, um, just let me know. Send me an email. And 
and last something that's just a little fun right here um <laughs> it's may the fourth be with you so this week it's star wars week and so um what i thought i would do is a little craft idea i know i'm not very crafty but i saw this and i thought it was really cute so what it does is um, this walks you through a way to make a couple of different what I call computer buddies or even their their bookmarks, corner bookmarks, um, to keep you company while you're working. So it's just for fun. You don't have to submit anything at all. It's not for a grade. It doesn't go into power school. But if you happen to make one of these, uh, if you will, please post it to our discussion page or send me an email with what you've done. I'd like to see those. Uh, mine, of course, that I made, I, I made a couple. One was Thomas Jefferson. And, of course, Baby Yoda probably has to be my favorite. So I hope you guys have a great week. May the 4th be with you.